What's going on guys? It's Trey Mathis here from wifientrepreneur.com. So glad to see you guys landing here on my page today. It's another beautiful day here in Mexico. Super excited to shoot this video today for a number of reasons, mainly because of the fact that you and I, we talked about it earlier this week that I was gonna shoot a video and I was really hesitant about shooting it. I wanted to go ahead and get it done today, tell you guys what happened today, catch you up with what's been going on. Let's go ahead and get started. This is the Wi-Fi Journal. Hey guys, is this your first time checking us out? This on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Make sure you subscribe to our social media channels. We're here to help you turn your passion and profit so that you can make money online. Like I mentioned in the opener, really excited about shooting this video. My wife and I, we're here in Mexico, hanging out for, for the week. Really excited about what's been going on. So many great and wonderful things. I told you guys I was a little hesitant about shooting a video here on vacation, mainly because of the fact that I feel that sometimes, you know, when you're on vacation, you really need to embrace the time that you are relaxing. However, that integrated lifestyle that we've been talking about, it really allows you to do the things like shooting videos. Uh, if you're a blogger, you know, if you're a travel blogger, this is where you make your money. You know, going to a nice resource like this, giving you a review, uh, telling people why they should consider coming to a place like this. And I think that it's not too much different with what we have going on as well mainly because of the fact that we want to show you that you can work anywhere there's Wi-Fi. There's Wi-Fi on this very nice resort that my wife and I are staying at. Got this nice little villa here, a uh, little pool. Probably shoot a lot more videos. But what I wanted to sh tell you guys today was about, mainly about how my hesitation was if ill found. You know, I was saying to myself, I said, you know, you guys saw the video, the last video. If you haven't checked out the last video, make sure you go over there and check it out today. I'm sure it's just, one over because we shoot these videos every day so this is just another day in the life of the wife or entrepreneur but what i wanted to share with you guys was i was hesitant about shooting a video i was reluctant because of the fact of those challenges that i just mentioned to you guys however sitting at dinner i'm mean, excuse me breakfast sitting at breakfast my wife and i and she goes you better shoot a video today i'm like what what are you talking about she's like you better shoot a video today because we need to be able to write this off. You need to be working. So if you're not working, we can't write it off. And I thought that was just so funny. I thought it was funny because she's, she's right. You know, being a Wi-Fi entrepreneur, anywhere that we go, if we're uh, helping the brand succeed, growing the brand through videos like this, through conversations with other uh, guests, telling them about the opportunity, that is business work. We actually have a travel club where we get hotels like this at a great, great, great discount. And if you're ever interested in being a part of our travel club, you can just head over to wifientrepreneur.com. It's a link right there, travel club. You can get hotels like this for membership pricing. That's what I would say. It's no club, it's no timeshare, it's nothing like that. It's just the rock bottom low price, the cheapest price that the hotel can offer it. This is what they give us uh, for traveling. So that's what's up. But she said, Do you, are you gonna shoot a video? And I was like, ah, uh, you know, uh, I should. She's like, well, the only way we're gonna write it off is if you do some work, we need to make sure that we can point to a video today that says on today, he shot this video. And because of such, he was working. Hey, that's fair and fine with me. So here I am. And I just thought that was so funny because I just finished the uh, Be Obsessed to Be Average by Grant Cardone. And what Grant talks about in that video is how his wife has just been such a, a strong advocate of the brand in which we see now, which is the Grant Cardone brand. His wife was a driving force behind it. Actually, the book, Be Obsessed to Be Average, is dedicated to his wife for that very reason. One of the cool things in that uh, book, he talks about a story where he says that uh, he was having a bad day and he brought his work home, where he was a little upset, uh, disgruntled is the word I want to use. And he came home and he says, hey wife, you know, Elaine, I think her name is Elaine. Elaine Cardone, hey Elaine, I had a bad day. I'm just upset. His wife says, so why did you come home? 
<laughs> basically saying, hey, if you had a bad day, you need to get back out there and turn that day good. You know, you need to go out there and do whatever is necessary to ensure that, you know, you're getting and reaching your goals, that you're not having these bad days. If the, if the bad day can be overcome by you just going out there and doing a little bit more, doing things a little different, you know, realizing the benefit that you already are walking in, you know, the blessing that you're walking in already. I think that I have to agree with that, you know. Uh, when you're living a life that's truly integrated, where your wife is supportive of you and the, the business allows you to do the things that you love and you're able to generate some great amount of cash flow, I think you should be excited about that. So finding a way to integrate your life so that you're able to do the things you love, you have uh, the excitement and uh, desire to want to do it, even when you're on vacation. That's the kind of business I want to be a part of, I know for sure. If you ask me if I wanted to do uh, my old nine to five job, uh, even on vacation, you probably get a quick no. So you can see the contrast. And if you think about your job, I don't know what you are, what you do for a living, uh, that's helping you finance your ability to whatever you're doing in order to finance your dreams. We talked about it before, if you're looking for investors for your company, you're more than likely find great investors in your current job. So I like to say that, you know, use your nine to five income to facilitate your dreams. Be, let that be your first investor. So uh, I think that's truly important. I don't know why I went off on that random tangent, but what I'm truly trying to say is find a supportive group uh, within your peers peers, friends, family, you need someone to support you. Like my wife has supported me uh, with my creation of Wi-Fi Entrepreneur and also as Grant Cardone's wife has supported him as well. Um, also you want that integrated life where you're out there doing the things that you love um, and you're able to share it in a way that can potentially generate cash flow for you. Now, all this time shooting videos like this, every video that goes up to YouTube, people watch it whenever it's most convenient for them. They don't always watch it the day I shoot it. So what's so great about that is you can look up weeks, months, even years down the road and someone to check out a video that you posted and that will have relevance to them at that time. And I think that is just powerful. So another great reason to utilize videos in order to share your message. Blogging, another great tool in order to share your message, of course, uh, because of the fact that Google's not going away, the internet's not going away anytime soon. Someone's seeking certain types of information that you have available on your blog. Same exact thing applies. Months, years down the road, that person can find your information and it could be a benefit to them. So I encourage you to do both and try to, way, try to find a way to, again, integrate your life that allows you the comfort, the, the peace of mind to work even when you're on vacation. You know, if you're looking for a week vacation once a year, that's not the life you want. If you need to just run away from everything for a week and then you feel like that week is going to just renew you, that's not the life you want. You want a life that you can do 24-7, 365, vacation to non-vacation. They say Bill Gates didn't take a vacation for 20 plus years, not even one day. Grant Cardone likes to say he hasn't taken a vacation in over 12 years. I would like to say by shooting this video, one day I'll be telling you guys the exact same story. I haven't taken a vacation in years. I work every single day sharing this brand with you guys. So um, anyway, as you can tell, I'm just happy to be outside the studio. Here we are. We got this big, beautiful landscape, jungle behind us. We got this little pool behind us, lunch pool, infinity drop off. I mean, not that bad, not that bad. Uh, so I'm gonna leave it there. Again, I just encourage you guys to find the things that you love, do it all the time and love it. So I'm gonna leave it there. Talk again real soon. Take care and be blessed. Peace.